previous episode, we discussed the news regarding Emma Abaga joining Fela to become the second Nigerian musician to have a fan write an inspirational book in his honor. Um, Bucky took to Twitter to share an image of the book's cover while seeking Emma's permission to publish the book titled The Crowd Itself, an exposition of Emma Abaga's study on self-worth, Young Denzel. To answer some of the questions raised by Beniak, we have the author of um, the soon-to-be-published book, Noel Michael Bucky on the phone. Hello, Noel. Please tell us why um, why wasn't Emma Abaga involved in the process of the writing of the book? Well, um, I wanted something that will come out of my own understanding of the album. I was not uh, ready to have somebody who will interfere with my perception of uh, the musical album. Uh, all I wanted was just to have it my own way, and then, if possible, uh, get it across to him. If he gives the permission, I'll go ahead to do it. If he's okay with uh, the content and other things. Okay, so since this is strictly your perception of his music career and the album in question, why do you think it's necessary for this book to be published? Let me say, first of all, I started uh, this project for myself. I started making when I when I the album was released uh, I think a year before last. I I I got the album and I started listening to it. Got the pen and paper and I was jotting things for myself. And I felt no, this should not just be for myself. I should jot things that will reach out to young people, especially. If you have listened to the album, you understand that uh, this that album is is especially for people who really don't understand life, who are not into life. So the young ones, I, I, I felt I should put down something for, not, ju for not, just, not just for them to just listen to the music, but to understand the music by making this uh, exposition. And it is motivational, it is normative, and I think it's not <laughs> only the, the youth, the young ones, but even those who are older and can, 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 can benefit from it. I also, I also did this because I want to, I want to give a, a, a new face to hip hop in in Nigeria, in Africa, that uh, we don't just do music; we do music that will benefit the society. So, a book like that should be able to send a message to those who are into hip hop, uh, so that they also think twice. Let's do good music. What about Emma Baga can we find in the book, and what part of his life inspires you? I am obsessed about Emma's wisdom. When I listen to some of his songs, it is wisdom that is there. And this is part of his life that you are going to find there. You are going to experience, you are going to read about it, and you are going to enjoy it. Before you go, is there anyone else in the industry you might want to write about, someone who greatly inspires you as well? Uh, without any uh, thinking twice, I, I will go for Brimo or false. Brimo especially. No, I love his music I, and they motivate me a lot. So I, I think if I would do anything like that again, Brimo or false would be next. Okay. So you, I think, has he answered your question? Um, not particularly. But at the end of the day, it's his own perspective. Mm -hmm. And he said something that was very pertinent. Once it's done, it's going to send it over to Emma before he publishes. And if Emma is okay with it, then he'll go ahead and publish. So that, that cuts it for me. And so I think this is just one man's opinion and perspective of somebody he considers to be a Roman and icon in a particular field. And so I'm waiting for the book. That's, that's hope it's an easy read and interesting one. Come on. Ah. It pretty, much, it pretty much said what I said earlier. I don't think the book was supposed to be a memoir <clears throat> for us to have insight on Emma's life. Um, he's writing because he feels like that. He has, he's worth that. Um, and the reason why we're talking about it is because he's the only person after Fela that someone has ever come out to actually write a book about. So we keep, if I keep to that, it's a good thing. Um, I also like his choices when he said Brian Moore and Fouls. Fouls. Fouls, yeah. They made me really understand where this man is coming from because his people is um, talking about musicians that uh, what we call conscious music, people who make conscious music, um, and that's really inspiring. And it makes a lot of sense why he will go for a let's say a veteran in the conscious music making, um, which is Mi. So I'm, I'm excited. For, I'm not going to say I'm going to read the book, but I'm excited for to start seeing reviews about the book. 
and maybe if the reviews are worth you know my interest i might get take a copy as well to see what what he is on about um it's really nice also to see that he loves nigerian music enough to want to go into that interest so a lot of people rather like you know um admire somebody from abroad or someone more global so it's nice to just see afrocentric nigerian mm. patriotism going on in the music industry yeah i definitely would want to read the book to understand his own perspective because he's saying this is his perception yeah. of mi so i want to know what he thinks about mi and why it's, it's such a big deal for him. He's yeah. basically saying he broke down Young Denzel, right? Yeah. So I don't think everybody listened to that album to break it down. We listened to it to enjoy it and get a message from it. Yeah. So it was deeper for him. For him, it was on another level. So we'll be looking